Due to Jewish custom, they wrapped him in spices and tightly with linen. No thought of ascension as they left the tomb. Left him alone like detention in the death position. But his mission defeated rigor mortis. Abandoned the costume and distorted their vision. When they found him missing, they couldn't perceive it. Thomas had to physically touch Jesus in order to believe it. Indeed, this seems deceiving. But the plan was much more than pain and bleeding. It's easy to read about the brutal beating or the unfair justice in the judicial proceedings, but again to agree that he rose in three for you and I. Rose to the sky to end what he began, so that the incomplete could be complete, along with the elite who trust in he, the resurrection. A reflection of you and I. We are required to die to our pride and lustful desires. We too must destroy this sinful empire. In other words, we too must be crucified. Just as Jesus Christ was raised from the dead through the glory of the Father, we too must be purified. Justified by faith, united through his death, and in spite of our imperfections, united through his resurrection. So we are no longer slaves to sin, yet slaves to righteousness. Jesus died to sin once and for all, but the life he lives, he lives to God, to please and to obey. Not as a facade, but fervently seeking. We must also seek the King, obediently delivering ourselves as living offerings for his glory. Have you heard his story? Is he in your inventory? Granathorns. Good morning, Willow Grove, where we're making disciples to make a difference. These are your announcements for Sunday, March 4th. 2018. This Tuesday we'll resume our regular Bible study with Lesson 5. We'll have prayer at 6 followed by Bible study at 6.30. Did you know March is National Women's History Month? And we're going to kick it off with our annual celebration. It's our 59th annual Women's Weekend. The theme? She's Intentional. And our brunch is on March 10th and then we have worship on the 11th. Our guest preacher is the Reverend Dr. Kimberly Credit. The Women's Choir will also rehearse on Friday at 7.30 and we need to know if you've sold more tickets. So contact Reverend Smart. And ladies, our colors are gold, ivory, and black. Let's get ready for Women's Weekend. On Saturday, March 17th, we've been invited to two separate events. First up, we're traveling to Amos Metropolitan for their Women of Faith Uplifting Sisters in the Community event from nine to three. Tickets are $25 each and includes continental breakfast and lunch. Our own Reverend Smart is presenting a workshop. We've also been invited to South Mountain Baptist Church for an extravaganza beginning at 1 p.m. entitled Women Consistently Committed to Kingdom Building. We hope you'll join us at one of these events. Finally this morning, Willow Grove will host the 13th Annual Forgiveness in the Desert Conference on Saturday, March 24th, beginning at 10. If you're struggling with forgiveness, this conference is for you. Pastor Pleasant and Reverend Smart are preaching, and we hope you'll come out. Willow Grove is where we're striving to be healthy, exalting the Savior, explaining the scripture, edifying the saints, and emancipating souls. And these are your announcements for the week.